good morning. How are my peeps out there? I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. It is, today is Monday, um, the 9th, September the 9th. Man, where did August go? And we're, today's the 9th day. It's, September's already on its way, isn't it? I mean, you know what I mean, on its way to the end. Anywho, I did not do any videos the weekend. Um, Saturday we went to Missouri. We went out of town. We went to pick up some furniture. And um, I bought a new couch. It's not brand new. It's used. It belonged to my uh, sister-in-law's sister. Very nice shape though. I mean, it's it looks almost new. Um, Uh-oh, I may not be able to video because of the shine. See, this is why I don't video anymore on the way to work. Because it just, yeah. But anyway, um, I'll have to do a furniture haul so I'll show you guys what I got. I got some antique, I got an antique, well two antique tables, but I'm going to use one. I think the other one's going to have to go in the garage. Um, but anyway, I love antiques. Uh, this table belonged to my husband's grandma. So this, it, you know, it means a lot to my husband. And it's very beautiful. I love antiques. Now a lot of people don't. They think they're just old, ugly junk and they like the modern stuff. But I, for one, love antiques. So, anyway, I got an antique table. Um, I'll do a haul. It's not going to be a big haul, but on what I got. So you guys can see my two tables before I get one of them. Put. I've already got one set up, but... Boy, I tell you what, this last week and this weekend has been... I don't know about you guys, but for me... Woo, that air conditioner's getting cold. For me, it's just been, it's been crazy. I mean, hubby and I have just been running around like chickens with the heads cut off. And and we've, we, we've had so much to do on our days off. I mean, I had to take mom um, to the doctor and something else I had to do. I mean, my two days off, you know, are Wednesday and Thursday. I was gone Wednesday. I was gone Thursday. And, of course, Friday, I worked till... Oh, I know what I did during the week. I had to, I did mom, then I had to, on Thursday, had to pick Hunter up at school, which was no problem. I mean, I love picking my boy up. I had to pick Hunter up at school, and he came back to our house, and we got up at the crack of dawn on Friday to take him back to school. And I say crack of dawn because he goes to school in another town. And so we got up early to get him there, and it was grandparent breakfast day, like the, with your grandkids. And I always love that day. That's that's our favorite day. So we went there for that. That's we took him to school and ate breakfast with him. And I I took an hour off or uh, an hour off in the morning so I could make sure we spend time with him. And I'd make it back by nine. I was supposed to be at work at eight, but I made it there at nine. And of course I have PTO time, so it was nothing off my check. You know, I just took my PTO time. Anyway. So that was kind of the scramble for Wednesday and Thursday. And like I said, Wednesday was mom and doctors and helping her shop for her groceries and all of that. Then Friday was the breakfast. We got up early to take Hunter for breakfast at school, grandparent breakfast day. And then I worked till, um, I worked at four o'clock and then we did not go anywhere Friday night. Friday night, I we were going to go, my hubby and I were going to go out, eat, get groceries. And I texted him and I said, look, I'm exhausted. And my husband had been out all day mowing lawn and weed eating. And so I said, I'm exhausted. How about we stay home? And he was like, I'm all for that. Because he, he was pretty well done too. So anyway, there's that. I mean, it was just blah, blah, blah. And then, okay, so Friday, we stayed home Friday night, but then we turned around and got up early on Saturday because to go to Missouri. Missouri is about two and a half hours um, from our house. Two and a half, three and a half? I think it's two and a half um, from our house to there. So, and that was kind of an all-day thing, you know, because we went, we looked at the furniture, we got what we wanted, and then his brother is who we got the furniture from his brother and sister-in-law of course we met them up there so afterwards um we 
want to eat. We want to sit down to eat. And so, so anyway, that was an all-day thing. We got home, unloaded the furniture, and goodness, it's just been yeah. And then of course Sunday is church, so we get up. We got up early Sunday to go to church, and my husband has been substitute teaching for a guy. And so we had to get there really early this Sunday. Well, we had to do last Sunday too, but this Sunday because hubby had to teach a Sunday school class. So there's getting up early, and then we came. Let's see, what did we do Sunday afternoon? We had to go to Walmart. I had to go to my mom's and drop some stuff off to her. Then we came home, and I mean, it wasn't probably in two hours. It felt like we had to get ready and go back to church. So anyway, we didn't get home from church Sunday night, and usually we get home pretty early, but last night, we didn't get home till I think 8.30 or almost 9. So anyway, I feel like I haven't had a day off, and I'm exhausted, and I know you guys know how that feels sometimes, you know? This, it don't happen all the time, but I'm thinking this week, if my mother doesn't have any appointments, this week, I think I'm just going to, on Wednesday, I'm going to have to rearrange my furniture. But I'm going to sleep in. That's for thinking sure. But I think I'm going to rearrange my furniture in Thursday. Don't come knocking at my door. But don't come calling because I ain't answering. Because I am going to kick back and rest. This old girl's body is just kind of rattered and tattered. I told my husband this morning, I said, man, I just ain't no young chick no more. I just ain't. I just ain't. It just ain't. You know how that goes. But anyway, said all that to say this, I guess. I don't, I don't know what I said all that to say. I just, I don't know. Just rattling my mouth, I guess. But I will say this. If you guys opened your eyes, which I know you did this morning because you're watching me. If you opened your eyes and you breathed breath of air then hallelujah you're still alive and God gave you another day to make something of it so regardless that I'm tired and exhausted I'm going to make something of this day because my God gave it to me he allowed me to live another day so let's do what we can do today you know what I'm saying just make the best of it and if somebody makes you mad just smile at them go about your business and just yeah let's, let's just make this a godly day I try to tell myself every day Marcia it's not about you it's all about Jesus and let's just share the love of God so for the love of God can we just all be nice and sweet and yeah it doesn't hurt I mean it's a lot easier to be nice than it is to be mean I mean come on now think about that just think about that made to smile. I'm drinking my coffee this morning in my folders. Guys, I am going to get off here. <laughs> Finish drinking my coffee before I get to work. Because yeah, I'm not, I'm almost to work. But I just wanted to chat with you guys. Not that you guys care <laughs> what happened to my week and my weekend. Oh, I don't know why I told you guys all that. That's why I didn't vlog, as you can tell. I didn't pull out a camera. I didn't even take a camera with me. And that was the last thing on my mind over the weekend. But we're going to get back in the groove guys we're gonna get back in the groove so love y'all and i'll check y'all in a bit okay guys my grandson wanted pizza for supper so i made pizza for him and i want to show you oh that it's i hit the pizza button and to cook pizza and this is the pizza see it's ready and i put what well, baby whoa 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 there you go pizza 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 I think it was thir thir 360 for 15 minutes. So anyway, there it be. There's the pizza. Okay, guys, I told you I would show you my new furniture, which is not new. It's antique. So this is the first one right here. This table belonged to my husband's grandma. And both ends fold out, and um, it becomes a very long table. I like it like this. It's going to stay right there. If you're wondering what happened to my cafe lot table that was behind my couch, it is over here by the bar. 
and I'm not sure this is going to stay here. I'm thinking about putting it in the dining room once I get all of, I've got another exercise equipment, elliptical, and it probably needs to go back in my spare room. I don't know. But anyway, and here's another table. This one is older than this one, but it also belonged to his grandma. She used to put her pies out when the, all the family would come over for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, this one's going to go in the garage for now, but this one we are going to use. As y'all can see, I got my holiday stuff out. Okay, there's that. And then my other new piece of furniture is my new couch, which let's go around so I can show you. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Two recliner couches, console in the middle. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm going to have to, husband kept his chair, of course, his recliner. But um, I absolutely love this. And what I'm going to do is try to find another chair. Sorry, we, all, we always use blankets, so they're strung on this chair. But this chair does kind of match, but I don't know. I was thinking about getting another chair to match that. And then my last new piece is my camper. I want to show you my camper. As you can tell, it's got a little hitch on it. I've already decorated it. And in case you're wondering, this camper, there we go, I got the lights on in there. This camper was is a doghouse bed, actually. The little doggy can get in there. And this is another little window, um, but that's not what I bought it for. I bought it for decoration for my hearth. And y'all know I'm into red trucks. Yes, I already have some of my decorations up. I'm into red trucks. And yes, my Christmas tree's up. I'm not done with it. So don't look at none of this back here. I'm just, I'm just, I'm not finished. I'm, it's still, I'm progressively getting there. Okay. Um, anyway. I got this for decoration. I love the camper, the old theme, the old campers and the uh, old trucks. And I have old campers in there by my coffee, as you know. Um, it just goes with my decor. Because my decor is, as y'all know, guitars. And old campers and old guitars goes with that theme. Because, you know, everybody sings, you know, by their old trucks on the farm. I made that up, but... <laughs> Anyway, there is my other new piece that I got. We're going to turn this off right now. I'll, I'll turn them on on the... My tree lights up too. <clears throat> I usually I turn these on at night time. So, I don't particularly care for them being on in the daytime. There's always... There's too much light anyway. Anyway, there's a new piece. I love this. They only had one in the store, and by George, I was going to nap that thing up. I don't care. I didn't care what it cost. It was only 60 bucks. but anyway, it was only 60 bucks because the lady said the store across the street paid 120 for it, and then they shipped it over to their store to see if they could sell it, so she marked it down to 60 and my little self just marched right in there right at the right time, but isn't that gorgeous? Anyway. So that is my new furniture that I wanted to share with you guys. And once I get everything set up and decide, you know, where, that's a mess in there because it's got, like I said, the elliptical and the extra table and it's just, the deep freeze is coming out for sure because we're not even using that deep freeze. But anyway, once I get it all set up, then I will show you guys because I want to get decorated completely. There's a few decorations over there. I want to get de uh, decorated. I want to get everything set up and pretty fied. Pretty fied. So I can show you guys exactly what it's going to look like. Right now, it just looks like a stinking mess. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys all my new pieces and my new furniture and um, my antique tables that belonged to my husband's grandma. His brother had them, and then he wanted to hand them down to someone else. And we wanted them, of course, because y'all know I love antiques. So, anyway, um, I don't think I shared my other new piece of furniture with you. So, let's take a look at that. Okay, guys, here's my other new piece, my bed. Um, it's not, this is not new. This came from my, my brother, actually gave this to me oops it's not really quite right there is it we need to tuck that down anyway and i don't even have i have red pillows over here that need to go over there but i just haven't got there yet this is my other 
new piece I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and then I'm fixing to do a haul too. I've bought some stuff to go on my furniture pieces and all that good stuff. So, oh, and this is my other piece that I got from my brother and sister-in-law. Big Lots has their Christmas stuff already out. Decorative ornaments. And look at these, the garland for the tree. Is that not adorable? Look at these ornaments. Those are ornaments and these are ornaments. I love this. Is that not adorable? Six bucks. Sub dispenser for eight bucks. Red truck towels. Red truck shower curtains. Rugs. Countdown to Christmas. Candles. Candle holder. Cookie jar. I'm going to have to get that one. And then they got the trays. I, look at this one, the camper. I got this one. I went ahead and bought this one. Or, I'm getting this one, as you can see. Oh, aren't these cute? They got these table runners that are adorable. This one, there's a different one I see them somewhere. I'll have to show it to you. I want to find it. And those table runners, pretty. Okay, guys, I have to do this in bouts because I have overhead music on, but. They have Christmas and Halloween, both are fall stuff up. Cute stuff. Here's the other one. This is the one I think I want to get. Gather Fall Table Runner. Is that not cute? Matter of fact, I think I'm going to get it now because if I don't, I can use this one even through to Christmas, I think. I don't want it to say Merry Christmas. It's a table runner, and I just got my antique table. I'll show y'all when I do the furniture haul. So, we're going to put that in the buggy. Here's the uh, kitchen tiles with the matching pumpkins in it. And let's see. I was going to show y'all. Where's it at? Oh, here we go. Grateful Hearts gather here. I love that one, too. And here's some of their fall stuff. It's her pumpkin. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I like these that say blessed on them. Love that. Love, love. Lots is getting their Christmas stuff up already. Those are beautiful. I love those. Look at these big um, ornament boxes. Already. They haven't got it all up yet, as you can see, but... Big Lots is getting it out. Cute.